Hello world. We're hitting the second quarter of 2023 and the world is brimming with AI hype, as well as products and services that are coming out at a faster pace than anybody can keep up with. In this video, I'll take a quick look at one of these services uh, that's a Chrome extension that I will be incorporating into my own workflow and whenever I study something I seriously want to learn. And that is Wisdolia, which is a way to use AI to automatically generate flashcards from content that you're browsing, whether that's YouTube videos, articles, or PDFs. It's going to create those flashcards for you uh, with the questions and answers from that content. And you can also synchronize chosen cards with Anki, which is a great piece of software that allows you to review those cards with spaced repetition and really embed them into memory. So let's go, let's do a little test drive. So here I am on wisdolia.com website and uh, I'll learn about it. Uh, I can download the extension, read some testimonials, but it's very simple to get started. So I'm just going to jump over to the uh, Chrome Web Store, look for the extension and add it to Chrome. Once that's been added, I can activate it. I do love that tree uh, artwork. And now once I've logged in, I can open an article, PDF or YouTube video to generate flashcards. So let's say I'm uh, studying Ericksonian hypnosis and want to learn and remember key things about that. I can then open Wisdolia and it'll parse the page and generate flashcards from it. Beautiful, as you can see, they're uh, popping up one by one. So, who is Milton Erickson? Question, answer. He was a psychiatrist who specialized in family therapy and medical hypnosis. Well, what is Ericksonian hypnotherapy? All pulled from this article. Uh, it's uh, the name given to the particular style of hypnotherapy used and taught by psychiatrist Milton Erickson, describing a very specific form of hypnosis, which unlike traditional hypnotherapy, uh, it uses indirect suggestion, metaphor, and storytelling to alter behavior rather than direct suggestion, and so on and so on. So this is beautiful. It all seems pretty accurate, uh, really tapping into uh, contemporary powers of AI, large language models. Here at the bottom, we see an option to email a copy of these cards ourselves. Now, that's handy in itself. Um, I'm already impressed and happy. But there is this little bookmark icon here at the top of the card, which allows you to save to Anki. So let's try that out as well. We need to have an integration up and running. Um, I've got it up and running already, um, but how do we actually accomplish this? So these are the steps that Wisdolia provides, very simple, to set up an Anki integration. Um, you download Anki first, and then you download this unique code that allows Anki to discover, discover the app. So we've got the code, we've got Anki from their website, apps.ankiweb.net, which I'll add to the video notes. We can then open Anki and go to Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons. So let's do that. Here we've got Anki. We're going to go to Tools, Add-ons, and Get Add-ons. We've got Anki Connect. So if we add, go to Add-ons, add that code from here, we'll, uh, we'll find it. Great. Do you then need to restart once that's been installed? And uh, I've done that. You go back to Tools, back to Add-ons, select the Anki Connect add-on, and then go through this manual hurdle of clicking Config on the right side, where we add star to the cross-origin request list here. So when it used to have just the local host, we add a comma to the end of the local host line and then a star symbol, an asterisk in uh, quotation marks. Now, once that's done, you press OK, you restart Anki once again, and then you're good to go. We can test it uh, and it's successful. So now that that's set up, Let's jump back to uh, our article on Ericksonian hypnosis. Look at our flashcards, which it seemingly creates again, no, probably loads of memory, and uh, save some. So then I can pick a deck of Anki cards. Let's just uh, use the default Wisdolia one. 
I want to remember what Ericksonian hypnotherapy is. Um, what's the key element? That's what I want to know. What's the confusion technique? Well, I don't want to be confused by that, etc., etc. And uh, it shows what's saved. So if we jump over to Anki and uh, close the add-ons view, we see we've got this deck called Wisdolia with new four card, four new cards, and we can study them now. So this is just running Anki uh, by default. So who is Milton Erickson? I'll show the answer, and then I'll subjectively assess whether that was easy, good, hard, again, um, and that will then tell Anki how fast should it show the card to me again. Um, Ericksonian hypnotherapy, it's a long description, I'll need to review that again. What's the key element? Working with symptoms for change, yeah that's easy. What's the confusion technique used in Ericksonian hypnosis? That's using metaphor and complex language, yes, to distract the client's conscious mind. Let's do that again, great, and then we'll keep going through that. So we've got our not only do we have our flashcards, but we have it in our system too. So that's beautiful. Loving with Dolia so far. I've even seen people uh, think about ways of monetizing this by using with Dolia to create valuable flashcards on a topic of study and then maybe polishing them up by creating a wonderfully beautiful set with Canva or maybe some AI tools and then branding that and selling that onwards. So have a go at Wisdolia. I'm really enjoying it. I am going to bring it into the various topics I want to dive deeper into. And a big thanks to the developer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.